one. Alrighty, so we've got this William Suspense. It's from 1969. Uh, came to me through, I bought a few machines. It had a few problems. One of them was the, uh, the pinball flipper buttons were all broken up. And so I had to 3D print some of those because I can't find them on the market anymore. So did that, a bunch of other connections, problems, all that good stuff. But this is a proof of life video. So let's go ahead and kick it off. And we'll, uh, it's set on free play. I set it on two players. And we'll go through and let it go through uh, the points. And uh, the match feature works as it should. So you get to hear that knocker, but only if you hang around long enough for me to score high enough. If I score high enough. Let's see if we can at least get the old spin. There we go. There's your active spinner. It'll go around. You get 50 here. There we go. And then we're back in play. You can get that bunch. The goal here is to get your A and B stand-ups and then hit the, uh, the extra spin because you get an extra ball whenever that happens. That light will come up and you get to shoot again. But that didn't happen this time. I only know that because I tested it and I pushed it all without the glass. That's the way my bride likes to play pinball. She cheats. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha, yeah. Ah. But uh, it's got new flippers on it, our, our new rings. I changed out all the pop bumper skirts. Uh, all in all, it's back into working condition. It's ready to go. It's gonna make somebody a, a fun machine in their new house. Uh, let's see, score wise, you got a little bit of uh, flaking in this area. The rest of it looks pretty good. You got one score reel that's kind of cracked, but I've uh, glued that together so it won't come off. There's no structural pressure there. But it's, uh, it's ready to go. Do I get to say bye-bye for now? Bye-bye for now. All right. Bye-bye.